What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the episode of Fishing with me, D Yang. I know, just a same old intro, fishing with your boy D Yang. Today, we're not fishing. I just wanted to take a moment to sit down. I feel like it's been a while since I talked to you guys. With that being said, let's get started and let's make this a quick video information informational video information video for you guys to learn about as you guys see in the title how to catch whitefish again if you guys haven't yet hit that subscribe button down below hit it hit it now or else i'm not gonna start just hit it hit, hit the subscribe button okay so i stop being just doing this weird stuff for you guys so there are three questions that have been brought to my attention as you guys all know if you guys have been following my instagram and my youtube channel i have been white fishing and i love white fishing i don't care what you guys say these fish come around once a year and they are just so much fun to catch they are delicious only my parents make them i'm horrible at making them i still have yet to learn i'll do my best to answer you guys as informative as possible sit down sit back and relax i'll have some clips playing as i talk so stay tuned don't go anywhere number one I'm gonna start off with where to locate these white fish. I have no idea. <laughs> Join a ice fishing community. I'm talking about Facebook groups. Some people out there are crazy enough to go out and they are, they are the real MVP because they I'm sure they're veterans. They know what they're doing. They know how to get out there, get on and get out safely and find these fish. As soon as they start catching them, okay? As soon as people start posting pictures saying that they caught white fish, they're in. These white fish are in. The water temperature is perfect. Water temperature is getting lower. These white fish, they're from 60 to 80 feet of water where it's much cooler in the summertime and they'll feed in the winter time. They'll come in and feed on gobies. Colder water will slow down the bait fish so it's easier for them to come and feed on gobies and little uh, critters and whatever it is down there and the zebra mussels and they'll come and just, you know, just they're savages, man. They'll come and destroy this bottom because they're bottom feeders, okay? So where to locate them? Drill a lot of holes, okay? Drill a lot of, uh, we're pretty much hole hopping. You want to start off shallow, okay? I always start off shallow. I caught whitefish in six feet of water. I didn't know that they feed that shallow until this year. Uh, for some reason in my head, I'm just like, you know, I'm just gonna start shallow. I have no idea where I'm at. I start off shallow, drill the hole in six feet of water, and I just went from six to, I stopped like at nine. Oh my gosh, at my first outing, I was just catching them on nine feet of water, six to nine feet of water, and it was just like constant movements and marking and uh, either catching fish or losing a fish. That is my best advice and quickest advice to you guys to start off shallow okay, in the morning is when i believe that they come up shallow and feed on these gobies so that's one way to locate them is to drill a lot of holes and work your way to the depth the second question that people brought up to me already is what lure do i use now i'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see my beautiful face i know you guys miss it anyways i'm gonna zoom in you guys gonna see the lures that i like to use for whitefish so this guy right here this is the color that i like to use to catch Whitefish. It's not a secret. <laughs> I think it is. It's not a secret. A lot of people out there use this gold tux and jig head and they rig too wacky waxy on here. Okay, I don't know if I can see it right. Okay, there it goes. So if you guys don't know what a wacky rig is, a wacky rig is where you rig uh, a lure or a bait fish or a bait, just say bait, in the middle. Meaning that it's gonna dangle on both sides. You're gonna like move this jig up and down. It's gonna create this like flaring motion to attract a lot of whitefish. I don't know why, they just like that lure. Stop moving. I don't know why, but they like that motion. They like that attraction. So simple as that, go tungsten jig head. Very quick and easy advice for you guys. Go out there, buy tons of these. Buy from size 4.5 to six. If you guys can find it, me, I like to use five. I think this is a 4.5 right here. I like to use a five. And it works just great, okay? So if you guys don't know yet, let me show you guys what a wacky rig is. Let me just draw it out real quick here. Oh my God, that's horrible. Okay, let me just hold it real quick here. <laughs> so this is a wacky rig, okay? This is the side view of it. This is the gold tungsten jig head, the hook, and you rig the wax worm in the middle. Okay, let, me, let me make that a little brighter right here. All right, there it goes. There it goes, okay. So that's what you guys wanna do. This is the Wacky Rig, two Wacky Rig Butterfly Tungsten Jig Head that we use for whitefish. Looks awesome, right? Ooh, rocket science. Ta-da, that's the top view right there. So that's what it looks like from the top view of the jig head. Jig eyes right there, jig head. Hook goes through both of them uh, wacky. See right there? So, nothing complicated, very simple, easy way to use to catch a lot of whitefish. And let's move on. So last but not least, ways to catch whitefish, okay? I love talking about this tactic because I'm amazed myself. I just figured it out just uh, last two outings. And that's what we do, okay? We figure things out and we share with you guys. That's, that's what I like to do for my viewers. I found out 
that this lure right here, and you can call me late, but this lure right here, I'm gonna zoom in, okay, so you guys not just stare at my ugly face, my beautiful face, I mean. I found out that this lure right here is a whitefish catcher. Ever since I caught that whitefish with the goby in it, and it was a little bit bigger than this guy, I've just been convinced that this lure will work nine times out of 10 for a big whitefish. How to rig this guy, just quickly, you want to tip it with some waxies at the bottom, at least two. One is fine, but you can do two. I always do two. Wacky rig, two waxy down here. Use four to th three to four pound mono. I like to stretch, okay, because this lure is a little heavier. If it is a big fish, I can have that stretch to hook set a big fish and I won't break off. You have your drake set too. So what this lure can do right here, because it is so heavy, it's heavier than a jig head itself, it can create a lot of commotion and noise underwater. First of all, always have this i always have this lure tied on first thing in the morning as soon as i hit the lake and i drill my first hold because i i know where to fish already drill my first hole and i drop this guy down to create a lot of commotion noise and uh just just to draw attention from fish from far away what you want to do with this lure right here is you want to pound this lure on the bottom of the structure okay the bottom of the lake when you drop this thing down, let it drop, let the motion hit the bottom, create a dust cloud. You want to create a dust cloud with this lure and you want to raise it up. I found out that a lot of big whitefish like bigger uh, presentation early in the morning. Even the small ones, they'll come up and hit this guy because they're looking for that big meal in the morning. They want to eat something that is filling, which is a bait fish, which is a goby to them. So again, pound the bottom. Bring it up a foot off the ground, watch your flasher, and I promise you that whitefish will just come up and they'll just nose at it or they will eat it right there. So that's the jigging wrap. So another tactic that I found out this year that I was very, very excited to share with you guys in this video is having this jigging wrap tied on and using a jigging, a uh, tungsten jig head. What I like to do is that I like to drop this jigging wrap down first, cause a lot of commotion, all right, I bounce at least three, four times, hit the bottom, bring it up, create a dust cloud. From my uh, experience that the fish will come and look at it, but they won't commit. And I wonder why, I'm like, why won't they commit to this jigging wrap? And I found out that maybe they're done feeding on bay fish. Okay, maybe they're just looking for something small, something to snack on. What I would do, and I recommend for you guys to do, is this right here. This is the all time secret to catching whitefish. I'll bounce this at the bottom first. Once I raise that whitefish, I get to show up on the screen to stare at this lure in some way. He's not gone. He just pretty much went out of the zone for a little bit and he'll circle back around. As soon as he disappears, I'll reel this back up halfway. I have the other lure. I have two holes, obviously. Two holes to jig and one hole for the transducer. I'll drop this down, straight down right away to the bottom. And I'll bring it up a foot high and I'll, I'll just wiggle it right by the dust cloud, just a foot off the bottom. Whitefish will come in and they'll see the smaller, easier meal and they will just devour it. I've done it many times and I am done. I'm just, I was just so shocked. I did that four times in a row and I was just like, whoa, this is like the new secret to catching these whitefish to me, okay? That was just amazing to me. I was just like mind blown that it worked so well. This is just a quick video for you guys. I just want to sit down and talk to you guys about how to catch these whitefish. A lot of people are writing to me saying, how do you catch them? I was just out there. I didn't catch anything, raise anything. These are just a couple ways to catch them, okay? There are many people out there who I still question and say, hey, dude, like, how are you doing it? Please show me. Sometimes they say yes, sometimes they say no. But here I am to say yes. I'm willing to tell you guys what I do to catch these whitefish. Catching fish is fun, sure. But fishing and learning is even better, okay? It's it's even better. The, the catching and landing is just a bonus. But fishing and learning, I take that over any day, okay? I've learned many ways to catch these whitefish, and I can't wait to go back on try it again. If you guys know any other way, leave it in the comments down below. Man, I, will, I read all the comments that you guys leave. Thank you guys for watching. Just a quick video. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. What do you guys think about this information? I'm not a whitefish fishing pro, but... I'm going to show you guys what I learned. Till next time, I'll see you guys out on the ice.